So this project is putting a Mirai drivetrain, a fuel cell, into the Hilux. So we're converting the vehicle into a hydrogen powered vehicle and it's really exciting. It's the first of its kind in this segment. Customers in the market are telling us they, they need a zero emission solution and this will deliver it. So actually for this project, what we're going to do is, on one hand, we have our Hilux, which is a very well-known uh, vehicle. On the other hand, we have the fuel cell uh, powertrain, Generation 2. And in this project, we will combine those two to generate a fuel cell electric Hilux. This is a very exciting project and myself personally, I cannot wait to drive the first uh, prototype next year. And also in this project, we'll develop it in the UK with very skilled uh, partners. And through the project, we will not only uh, create this very exciting vehicle, but as well will boost the capability of the partners and colleagues moving forward. So hence, this is really a win-win project and together, as a team, we really will make possible tomorrow what seems impossible today. The auto industry in the UK is a vital part of the UK economy. But we can't be left behind. The world is changing. We've already introduced electrified vehicles, but we also need to maintain the skills base that we can also adopt all the zero emission technologies. And one of the new technologies is hydrogen. By this project, we're going to start developing skills throughout the supply chain in terms of design, manufacture and our supply base and through that contributing immediately to the UK economy. This Hilux will basically be produced here and this is where we're transforming our business um, into customisation and conversions and accessory fit. So we'll build the first prototype vehicles here um, in the business revenue centre and it will also allow us and our consortium partners to maximise further business opportunities from this project. I would like to say a big thank you to the UK Government and the APC. Without their support, we would have never pulled this consortium together. TMUK by itself doesn't have the skills to bring this project through to fruition. The funding that we've received allows us to really challenge for this zero emission technology that can really make a contribution in terms of moving the product and the market forward in terms of zero emissions.